Uh, we understand that these reports ref are referring to an ongoing investigation undertaken by the German judicial authorities. Um, we never comment on ongoing uh, investigation, uh, but of course we are always ready uh, to cooperate with national authorities. 中共谍影重重。德国新闻杂志《民进周刊》报道，被锁定的三人疑似把私人及社会资讯传给中共国安单位。德国联邦检察官十六号证实，十五号上午在比利时布鲁塞尔及德国柏林等四个城市的图集搜索，包括住家、企业办公室等九个地点。Two of them are accused of actually passing on information. One of them is accused of considering to do so. And as you said there, Rosie, there have been raids across Germany and Brussels in Baden-Württemberg, in Berlin, and Bavaria, and of course here as well. So it's quite a, it's an ongoing investigation. 德媒报道。三名嫌疑人中的一人是德国公民，直到2017年还一直担任欧盟外交部门高级外交官，包括多次担任欧盟大使。另外两人是一家知名德国游说公司的两名员工。这个案子是近年来首次涉及中共对德国和欧盟从事间谍活动的具体指控。中共正在渗透全球各国，企图建立政治影响力。有鉴于此，美国也不厌其烦地要求德国和其他欧洲国家。将中国电信商华为排除在 5G 网站建设招标之外。Comes at a very sensitive time in Brussels and particularly also in Germany, where Germany and other member states are considering whether to allow, for example, the Chinese tech firm Huawei to allow to develop essentially the 5G network here. So, I mean, there's a lot of questions to be asked, and I think that people who were concerned about Huawei in the first place will certainly be listening to this investigation. 一年前，波兰逮捕了包括一名华为公司中国员工在内的两人，并指控他们为北京进行间谍活动。德国联邦检察官发言人施密特表示，确认正在对情报人员的活动进行调查，但目前没有任何嫌疑人被逮捕。新华台电视国际新闻组编译。